So if it's 21 upstairs, it is 18 degrees here. That's a big no. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about 3D printing. I did a video about a year ago on my settings uh, for Cura. At the time it was Cura 4.0 and now it's 4.5, but it's the same thing. It, it, the profiles are compatible. Now, I'm getting so many questions, I thought I would do an update. And in the past year, if you've been following my channel, you know that I've been doing, like, I've been doing a lot of uh, 3D printing. One example is my Armadale uh, ship here from the uh, Australian Navy. Uh, that was a major project. Took me, uh, I think it took 10 weeks just to print all the parts. I did the marble machine here. There's also a video on my channel about this little thing here. So as you can see, there you go. It's a very, very cool device. And now I did the castle. Now, I'm doing this video because, of course, you can play with parameters like wall thickness, infill percentage, uh, temperatures, but there are two things that most people forget and I want to cover these two very important parameters today. First of all, I want to show a quick uh, time-lapse video of the, of the uh, printing of the castle. By the way, I'll put the file in the, uh, or the link to thingiverse.com in my video description. This is 40% reduction, so this is 40% this, the actual size of the file. This is what uh, will fit nicely in the Ender 3 printer. So if you don't want to watch the time lapse, just go forward by one minute and then I'll talk about my two important parameters. Now you saw the time lapse of course I printed in white with white PLA and my daughter did the uh, painting. We did not buy any paint by the way for this. We just used paint that we had. We had gray, we had green and we had three shades of brown. One is kind of a gold so you can see here on the side uh, camera uh, what, uh, you know, what she did. She did a very good job actually. So my two parameters most people print with the Ender 3 and this standard here, the standard printing bed, okay, at 50 degrees. I found that if you set the initial layer print temperature 10 degrees higher, so 60 instead of 50, you get a much better adhesion that will prevent misprints and failure uh, early in the print or late in the print when the nozzle is printing here at the top because there is some friction and if you don't have good adhesion that happened to me when I when I printed my uh, oh this thing here my uh, Groover I forgot the name the grooving machine you put a cell phone in here and um, it actually dislodged or removed itself from the printing bed so 10 degrees higher 
for the initial printing temperature. My second very important point is the room temperature. I am in my basement here, okay, and this is the winter. So we set the temperature at 21 degrees Celsius. I forgot in Fahrenheit, but 21 Celsius. That's the temperature upstairs. So if it's 21 upstairs, it is 18 degrees here. That's a big no. When I print PLA on the Ender 3 in 18 degrees, I get print failure. And I wish I get the parts, but I had too many. I had to do some cleanup. I had print failure of the hull over here because the hull is quite thin on the Armadale ship. And uh, each piece was about this high on the printer. And uh, I got a misprint at the middle. There was not enough stickiness or adhesion between layers and it broke apart. Uh, let me show you what I did. I used a fan a very like very small fan that I put at the end of the table over here and I direct the heat towards the printer so I get about 25 degrees right here around the printer so that will allow you to have good prints because this little castle here this takes a day about one day and 12 hours approximately if I remember correctly a day and a half to print this thing at 0.2 uh, millimeter of uh, um, uh, thickness or uh, layer, layer height, 0.2. So if you something goes wrong, you may waste a full day of printing, and this is about a third of a spool of one kilogram, so you waste a third of a spool of your PLA. So have a look again at my parameters, at my profile that I've been using on the Ender 3. It works very well for me. And remember, the two things I just talked about, the initial printing temperature and your room temperature, and that should help with your, uh, with your 3D uh, prints. So thank you guys for watching. And again, if you have any questions about 3D printing, about the Ender 3, I did do a few upgrades. As you can see, I printed a couple of things here. I have a aluminum. Uh, ex, uh, feeder so a few upgrades so if you have any questions let me know and i'll get back to you as soon as i can have a great day goodbye guys